Good day and thank you for joining this channel. Uh, in this tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to conduct stationarity test, the implication of conducting stationarity test in time series, and then um, the, the importance of factoring in structural break in, uh, in, in conduct, when you conduct a stationarity test in time series. And then I will introduce you to a program, hardened programming reviews that will allow you to um, conduct stationarity tests for all your series. Uh, with just few clicks. Okay, so first of all, why is stationary test so important? It helps to evaluate the behavior of series over time. Okay, uh, the test can be used to evaluate the stability or predictability of time series. So if a series is not stationary, it means the series is unstable and unpredictable, and therefore may not be valid for prediction or forecasting. So if that series is not stationary, it means it may not be valid for our prediction or forecasting okay Th that that is one another thing is that uh, it has to determine how series respond to shocks if a series is not stationary then the impact of shock to the series are more likely to be permanent and consequently if a series has is stationary okay uh the impact of this shock will be transitory or transient okay uh such variable when there is a shock it can easily revert back to uh, equilibrium okay and then uh, stationarity tests can also help it, it can be used to test for market efficiency you know eg in testing for foreign exchange market efficiency exchange rate is usually used as a proxy for for the market so or uh, if exchange rate exhibit uh, if it has stationary if it is not stationary and then the market in question is assumed to be efficient okay so these are important of all uh, important uh, the importance of conducting stationarity test you can know if this series is is one that is stable and predictable that will help to know if you can use it for prediction or forecasting and you can use to know how the variable responds to shock is it the type of series that when there's a shock the impact of the shock is permanent or it is a uh, uh, transitory okay so um now I want you to understand this concept. When we say a variable has a unit root, it means it is not stationary. Okay, when is, we say it has no unit root, it means it is stationary. Okay, now to conduct stationary, uh, it will be advisable for you to graph the series and see how it trends. Okay, that will help you to decide uh, the options you consider when you when you doing your stationarity test. So now I will, I will use money supply as an example. Okay, you come to view here, you see unit root test. Okay, we have levels. Okay, we have variant of unit root test here, augmented, the Kufula, the Kufula, uh, P, uh, Philip Perron, and all the likes like that. The, the common ones are ADF and uh, PP. ADF and PP, they test for unit root. Okay, but you can infer the stationarity of a variable via the unit root test. I said earlier that if it has unit root, then it is not stationary. And uh, if it doesn't, then it is stationary. Okay, uh, these are. Uh, KPSS, uh, S, S, S. Th this one tests for stationarity directly. Okay, instead of testing for unit two, it tests for stationarity directly. So let's say we pick ADF, we pick level. Okay, uh, first of all, I said let us graph so that we know how uh, the series, the behavior of the series. So we come a lion symbol, click on OK. Okay, we see it trends upward and there is an intercept. However, little. There's an intercept. So this series it has both intercept and trend. Okay, we can now come back. We can come back. Unit true test. I'll click on unit true ADF level, and then we can click on trend and intercept. Let's see what we have. Okay, now these are results. Normally, the first condition is that your t test ADF t test should be negative. It should be negative and in absolute time it should be greater than either all or one of these critical values okay so the first condition is validated that means this series is not stationary okay so it is not stationary now however we can test the stationarity at first difference what if it is different what will happen you come here you need to test first difference what do we have okay now first condition is made it is negative and in absolute time it is greater than uh all of the critical values here in absolute time so we say it is stationary but only after first difference 
Rea uh, simply put, this series is not stationary, okay, and then uh, it means it is it's 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 it exhibits a random walk, okay, and it it is somewhat unpredictable, okay. But uh, one thing I want us to know is that we can always account for structural changes when we conduct our uh, initial tests because structural changes allow us to. Uh, structural ch change in series occur when we have ab ab when when series abruptly ab abruptly change at a point in time. Okay, when we have when it, there is an ab ab abrupt change in, in the series at the point in time. Okay, now if we do not factor such change in, we might get uh, the wrong representation of the data in terms of stationary, and that might inform our choice. That might inform wrong choice of a model. Okay, and that might lead to spurious regression. So, it is important to always factor in structure a uh, breakpoint when you are conducting unit two tests. How do you do that? You come back to view here, yeah, breakpoint. You see breakpoint unit two tests, and then uh, we look at the series when we graph it as both trend and intercept. Okay, okay. Let's look at levels. Okay, what do we have? Look at it okay when we factor in uh break okay structural break in the series we we, we found out that the series is actually stationary if at one percent because we see that in absolute term the augmented the Gifula test statistics is greater than any of the critical values so it's always important to factor in structural break okay if not it might help us to make wrong choice of decision one thing about this uh stationary test uh, we call it pre-estimation test because it dictates the appropriate the kind of model that is suitable for your analysis okay when your series are stationary or true OLS might work but when they are not stationary or true maybe they are they are, they are stationary after false difference non stationary series then OLS might not work okay you might need to go for ECM model or ALDL depending on other tests to conduct on it, the outcome of under other tests conducted on it. So stationary test is very very important, very very important because it helps you to uh, make uh, it, it it helps you to make uh, a valid regression and not a spurious one. Okay. Uh then let me introduce you to uh, this uh, Harden program. Okay, you know that was developed. This will help you to do stationarity test for all your variable in few clicks okay you come to harding you have to make sure that your series is uh your system is connected to the internet okay then you come to download add-ins okay now come to euro come here come and search out for euro hijk Okay, you see you're all here. Just click double click on it. It's downloading. You click on okay. Yes. Okay. Install successfully. That's good. And then we can close this. Then you can come back here. Harden. You see all you need to test. You click on all you need to test. Yeah. Now you can insert your variables there. First, let me go back so that I can see the variables very well. Okay, I can close this. Come to Harding. You see all you need to test. Okay, you can put all your variables there. You can put CPI. You can log CPI. Okay, you can put a uh, exchange rate. You could log it to see how the log form behaves. Okay, you could put MS, you could log it to see how the log of MS behaves. On and on and on and on. And you can come here and choose which of your options. The limitation of the okay, yeah. You can come here and if you want ADF and PP, you click on it and then you click on okay. You select your selection criteria here. Okay, uh, black selection criteria, EIC, SIC. AIC, SIC, which one? If it is okay, based on your conviction of which one is best selection criteria, you click on OK. And then you have your results. 
these are unit root results okay this is for pp for pp here yeah, it shows that uh, no variable stationary labels okay and at first difference you see no means not stationary this is stationary at all uh 10 percent not uh one percent one percent two percent okay you see you see you see you see you stationary to test and then this is adf this is what you have at levels and then uh, this is what you have at first difference uh thank you if you find this video useful please uh do not hesitate to click on the subscribe button okay if you're visiting the channel for the first time please uh, click on the subscribe button Thank you. Thank you for watching.